today. <laughs> I'm in the workshop to make a flange for the turbo. It's down here. This is a TDO4 from a Volvo. And I'm making the template for the flange using a piece of cardboard and dirty finger to make an impression. So I'll cut that out and then um, put it on, transfer it to this old steel plate I got from the scrapyard. This was going to be an exhaust flange but I got it laser cut in the end just to save loads of time. So um, I'll get on that now. There's a nice clean surface after going over it with the grinder with one of these abrasive discs that's like, it's like spongy. I don't know what they're called still, I just get them at the, the uh, welding shop, but they're really good for removing surface rust and paint really quickly. That's, uh, that's sorted. Now I'm going to clean up this side as well and then I'll get the plasma cutter out to do, do, to do the big hole in the middle. There's the old plasma cutter. Um, I've, used them, I've used the plasma cutter quite a bit, especially to work on my Volvo. Um, that needed a hell of a lot of welding doing. Lots in the boot floor pans and everything and I could uh, I could chain drill that big hole but it would take ages and ages and I've got a plasma cutter so yeah.
back home now um, with my turbo and the flange and a little uh, merge collector thing not the best quality one but it was cheap um, basically I've got a support arm from the gearbox to the hot side of the turbo for mocking up and here's my head with the laser cut flange on it and I've, just, I've got uh, loads of 180 degree bends so yeah I'm just going to start chopping and see what happens I've got uh, one and two tacked in place they're the easy ones I think <laughs> um, I've just uh, tacked them just a tiny tack onto the actual flange so at the end of getting these mocked up I can just knock them off so uh, that's taken about an hour but the next two cylinders are going to be much harder um, so they're going to have to come kind of loop around and lots of loops I'm not quite sure how it's going to work this is my technical diagram so far um, <laughs> so I'll just stick to that because it seems pretty you know solid you know it's a, it's a bit of sharpie on a bit of sandpaper um, it's worked in the past it can work again now right number three is done that one took ages Just to loop up a bit high because the bends I got were <laughs> not very tight but, it's, um, but they were cheap so yeah. uh, the next bend I'm going to have coming under and round like that so uh, this one's going to be the hardest <laughs> so it's going to take even longer maybe like an hour and a half or something Let's see how it goes. Hey, that's all of them done. That last one took ages. <laughs> uh, just like I thought it would. That's all four welded up, took a couple of hours. <laughs> yeah, ground all these welds down last night. Uh, took about two hours and then gave them a quick go over with the flap wheel. But uh, at the joins, yeah, they're not going to come up great unless I put loads more work in them. And I, yeah, this isn't a show car, so that'll do fine. Here's my kitty. Hey Dibs, look up there. What's up there? What's up there? What's that? Dibble. What are you doing? You're going to sleep.
Sure. Right. So that's tacked to the exhaust flange now, and the merge collector is not attached at all, so I can just slide that off. Weld the inside of the four tubes, slide it back on, and weld around the outside. Yeah. Welding tip is rugged. I ran out of gas, then I ran out of wire, and then I, you know, got everything I needed, and then ran out of uh, uh, the tip. Melted itself basically. So typical, really, isn't it? <laughs> but I got the flange all welded on the engine side got some good welds on there and then the last bit of welding left to do is all this bit and that steel I think it's made of just parmesan or something it's shite so it's taking ages to weld it's just blowing holes all the time but um, and that's when my tip died on me but um, coming together Um, 